Uh, Lewis, how special was it for you today being back at Anfield? Very, very special. I mean, it's always uh, fantastic to be back. Uh, um, the crowd is, as always, uh, have come to watch a, a good performance, I think, from both sides. Uh, we, we try to put a lot of effort, and for us, it's magnificent. Try to bring uh, something, trying to help on this fantastic cause uh, that Liverpool Foundation is doing every single time that they try to to, to do this kind of events. And, well, um, uh, Good, it's true, and I won, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and being back in Liverpool, I'm just wondering, you know, as a former player who's lived here, do you miss living in Liverpool? Do you miss but the city? This is not the Liverpool that I know. I mean, <laughs> I, I, when I, I was here back in 2004, the, the, the cities have changed so much, and now it's, um, it's a city very open, uh, so many things to do. I mean, the, the guys from Barcelona were telling me, yeah, we've been working on the dogs, we were in the city centre, and the, the city looks beautiful, and I think it's, it's fantastic just to hear that from, uh, from people who haven't been here for quite a while. And, and well, uh, I enjoy. I, I enjoy to go. I went to city centre to have dinner, to walk around, and it's fantastic to to be back to a different city. Definitely. Do you still have like any friends or people you yeah. knew here from years ago that you're still in contact with? Yeah, of course, uh, because there are so many. Well, actually, the the guys who were um, uh, renting my house uh, back then, uh, I was renting the house uh, from them. Uh, I think we we've been in touch, and I have a lot of friends that um, they've been t talking most of them because they were fans that they are uh, social media they get closer to, to all of them so I think it's, it's good to, to have that connection and well to, to keep in touch and you obviously played for Liverpool and Barcelona today the two sides what would you say the main differences between the two clubs two massive clubs no, I don't think they are different I think they are massive clubs that they try to, to, to win every single game that's the mentality that the same values that is try to as you've, you've seen the, 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 the team or the mentality the being ambitious and you could see that and no one wanted to, to lose this game even though there is a friendly even though that uh, we are former players and uh, well I think it's, it's something special and the, the two teams uh, they are massive around the world and how does playing at Anfield compare to Camp Nou, for example? Yeah, it's different. I think the atmosphere at the Camp Nou is a little bit uh, colder than here. The, the crowd is closer. Uh, they like to to be more um, uh, involved into the game, trying to manage um, the, the, the situation of the players. In the moment that they need it, they boost the, the players if, if the things are not going well. And Camp Nou is a little bit more quiet. It, it's, it's open, so it's like a theater. So the atmosphere is a, a little bit uh, different. But definitely two of the stadiums that probably are two of the best and like, most beautiful ones in the world. And as an opposition player, do you think Anfield would be, you know, the ground you would, the least that you want to go to out of all of them? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, if you start comparing out, oh, this one is better. This one is better. Of course, for me, it's special, and uh, and the way that I've I've been. Uh, uh, set around the players, for example, for Barcelona, a lot of people that I met during the, the, my career, everybody has got this one like a, a special place uh, uh, with the atmosphere, the spirit that you feel. And well, we all talked about the, the Champions League night that I feel everybody knows about that. And well, that's why I think it's one of the most special ones. And just on the current Jurgen Klopp side, so many good attacking players as well. I'm just wondering how you would have found playing in this current. Yeah, I love it, but I don't know if there's space. There are so many. <laughs> I'll have to wait for 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 a rotation because well, you can see now the Diaz has arrived, has adapted so well to to the team. Uh, Jota has been uh, outstanding the, uh, since he arrived to to the club. So at the end, it's about that that you find the right places. Uh, the way that they, they they've been managed is, I think, is great. Uh, helping them to to get involved, the connection with the other players, and well, I have to give a shout as well. To, to, to the young ones, I think they, 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 uh, it's been for a long time um, a weight of younger players arriving. We've seen Arnold, of course, but Curtis has done great uh, in the moment he got involved. And I think it's very important that even though that you can bring players, but the academy continues uh, giving players to the first team. Yeah, and obviously you came to Liverpool from abroad from another country. It can take players time to adapt. Yeah. So how surprised have you been with how quickly Luis Diaz has adapted mm -hmm. to Liverpool? Yeah, very, very. I mean, I was, but I, I'm, I'm sure that I'm not the only one. I mean, you expect them to, to, to at least two, three months to adapt to the rhythm of the competition, the rhythm of the team, the way that the team plays. That is special because you need a lot of intensity. But I think he's a player who knows what it is to play this way and well his ability his um, uh, football intelligence is, is fantastic and that's why I think he has adapted very well to what the Jurgen Klopp wants from him. There's also been a lot of talk around Mohamed Salah what will happen with him going forward and what, what was your sort of prediction where how that's uh, going to play out? I don't know I don't know I hope uh, the best for both sides I think it's very difficult to find because we don't know uh, we are not in that uh, position uh, we all know what Salah gives to, to a Liverpool and what Liverpool gives to Salah. So I think that I wish all the best to whatever happens. But of course, Salah is a special player for Liverpool.